Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Zach, and in today's video, before we start this video off, like this video if you like my new uh, flamingo shirt. Just got it about yesterday, and it looks pretty nice. So if you like this shirt, like the video. All right, let's get into today's video. So originally, I was gonna go kayaking today on my brand new kayak, but as you can see in the background, um, it's very overcast, it's raining heaps, and the wind's just picked up, so it's not really a good day for kayaking, which has just uh, ruined my plans for today. So, I thought today's video would be a good, good idea to show you guys what you can do when the weather just changes your plans. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to organise all your tackle and all your baits in a very organized manner where the next time you'll be out fishing you'll you know where exactly every lure is. I do this about maybe once or twice a month whenever it's really raining or wherever my plans get ruined by the weather. Uh, I usually organize my lures so when it's a good day and I'm about to head off I know exactly what's in here. So this is a 25 litre Shimano backpack. Um, I keep all my lures and my tackle in here. So it has five main five main zips. So it has the front uh, vertical zip and it has uh, three at the, four at the top up here. So I'll start with the, the front. Uh, how I like to organise um, my tools and all that, I put it in the front pocket so it's easily accessible. So what I have in here is just a little cheap knife that I use to cut the line with when I'm re-rigging. So I got the one knife. I also have a multi-tool, one of these ones. It's just good to have one of these when you're out fishing. So it's got a bit of pliers and then it's got all sorts of knives and uh, other cool little contraptions out there. So as you can see, both sides open up. So they're the two main tools in the first little compartment. I keep that in the first compartment so it's I know where they are and it's it's easily accessible. So that's those two. Okay, so the second pocket uh, is actually my soft plastics and my spinner baits. So when you open this one up goes around the side. It's a big flap type thing. And this is where I keep all of my spare plastics and brand new lures. So for instance, I have these uh, lures that I haven't even used yet, just uh, still in their boxes, just two top water cicadas. You can see there. So, I, so into the first little section, I have a bag full of my soft plastic lures that have already been rigged up and that already have jigs in them. So for instance my custom made spinner bait that goes in there, has a hook and everything. Um, so yeah this is just a bag full of all the already rigged uh, jigs and plastics in here. So I just keep them in a little ziplock bag and I know um, if I ever need to use an already rigged uh, plastic or a spinner bait, they're just in that little bag, like that. Okay, moving on into the same compartment, I have uh, bagged plastics. So, I, when I order plastics, I like to keep them still in their bags, just more organised and I know what colours are which, just keeps them more organised and they last longer when they're in the bags. So I think I've got about maybe 9 or 10 different bags of plastics. 
Sorry about the wind also too guys, I'm filming in very heavy rain so if there's any um, bad audio that's why I'm just filming in a very wet weather day. So, so that's my plastics and my jigs so far. Then the next little compartment is all my spare spinners and buzz baits. Uh, these ones I just keep in their packets, um, I don't really need to use them, so I just keep them in their packets so I don't lose them. Same with uh, extra jigs and more spinners, I just like to keep them in their packets so they're not all everywhere. Get some more jigs, more jigs, and yeah, so if I do water plastics, I, I like to keep them in their little bags so I know which is which and they're not all scattered everywhere in my bag. Okay, so that's the first, uh, well that's the second zip section in my bag. I like to keep all the, um, the jig heads, the spinner baits, the buzz baits, all these little packets uh, together and then just the plastics uh, together as well. Okay, on to the next section. So, this little section here just has a little, little zip up the top here. Just unzip that. And this is where I keep all my spinner baits. So, just in another Ziploc bag so I know where they all are and they can't just wander around everywhere. So, how I like to organize my spinner baits is I like to put them rigged up on a bobby pin as you can see there just got a bobby pin just straight through all the eyes of the spinner baits and that way they can stay all together and I can just pick up this little bobby pin and they're all organized how I like them so that's my little spinner bait section I like to keep them in a plastic bag as well so they're not everywhere and also keeps it away from the, the weather and the wet, the wet. That's all my spinner baits in there. Okay, moving on to the fourth zip. Uh, it's getting quite, it's getting into the middle of the bag now. So this is one of the main sections. And in this little section here, um, I keep all my spare uh, braid and leaders and got, I even got a hand line in here. So hand line, bit of braid, a leader, some more braid. Yeah, so just, I like to keep the line still attached on the little barrel type thing. It's just easier to work with. So I just keep all my line in one little section, just like that. And also my hand line. So I put all that in that section there. And coming up to the last section, which is the main compartment just below the shoulder straps. You undo that one. And this is where I keep all my practical stuff. So I always carry a snorkel around with me, a snorkel and a mask, uh, just in case I might lose a lure or if I find something in the water that I like or want to have a seat or, or I want to check out, I'll bring a snorkel and a mask. Very handy. Got a lot of lures back from that in very murky water. So I love always having the snorkel in my bag. Also, I like to keep a little rain jacket or a poncho just in the bag. Like for instance, it's raining, but it wouldn't be very good today. Otherwise my boat, otherwise my kayak would just sink, getting filled up with all that water. But this is just for like land base or on a boat, etc. So that's my raincoat. Then I also like to keep my hard bodies and my lure detachments in this section here. So I keep them all in little plastic container tubs 
uh, which is waterproof, so no water and dust can get in, etc. So this is where I keep all my hard body lures. Um, I know exactly what's in here, divers and hard body surface lures. Um, eventually I'll get uh, sectioned off uh, plastic containers so they'll be easier to handle but for now this this dude's just fine because I don't have many lures. Yeah so just the top water and the divers in that little section and then I have these little swivel lure at detachment so it just goes on my line and it's just easier to put a lure on and off you can see there and I've just got I think uh, 10 different sizes just in here and I also like to keep that in a uh, sectioned off plastic container um, yep and then the last little uh, piece of equipment I have is all my tackle. So I keep this in a plastic box as well So it's not going everywhere So what I keep in here is all my floats uh, spare uh, Jig heads which are just loose uh, This is basically all my loose gear Then I've got my sinkers and just some more plastics and some hooks So this is all my like loose box, but also my baits Sinker and hook plastic containers, which I find very, very good to keep all your equipment organised. So yeah, that's my uh, little organisation of my tackle and baits in this bag. If you uh, want any advice or questions about this setup, just let me know. And if you like this video, give it a like. It really helps and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.